Hey everybody, it's the Digi Bros! Hey! Today we're changing things up a little bit. It's not me and Victor, it's me and Shade! Who, who is Shade? Shade's the littlest Digi Bro. Who's, I don't know him. Well, that's you. Oh, my name's Carl Azus. I hear with CNN Az Student News. What? <laughs> this is a government class. Uh, every government class, they uh, show us a 10 minute like thing of the news of what happened like the day before and it's the, hosted by this stupid guy named Carla Zeus who has at least like 20 puns at the end of the video jeez so we're playing what is this this is you're playing right uh, this is macho man randy savage's experience this what's the name of the game uh, little big planet 1 little big planet 1 Screw you, Humpty. This game looks like a total clusterfuck right now. There is a lot of stuff happening, and I don't there remember the controls. There is just so much going on right now. I how, have a shoe. how old is this game? I think it came out the same. No, the year after the PS3 came out. I don't know when that was, though. That was like 2006. So yeah. this game's from like 07, right? Right. That's why there's about to be a third one. Which, when you hear like. 2007 it sounds right, but then when you think about that that's eight years ago, it sounds totally wrong, right? Yeah, like it's... holy fuck. <laughs> it's been eight years since 2007 It's weird to think that the uh, that that generation has been around for so long, right? I don't, I don't really think of the ps4 at all but just because we don't have one Well, like when, when I think ps3 and then I think eight years I think well yeah cuz I don't even remember like like when I think of the generation before that it feels like my fucking childhood, you know but, like, the PS2 feels ancient, and the PS3 feels like it's been around for a long time, but when you actually think about any individual game and then think eight years, it's like, fuck me! It, cause, because so many of the PS3 games were, like, revolutionary-seeming when they came out. Little Big Planet was like, oh my god! Yeah, you with, know? All the, uh, with all the customization and... Even just the textures doing. look inc I mean, mind you, we are playing this, it, 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 uh, it's in 480p for some reason, and, uh... I want you die! <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's just because of something to do with the Elgato or whatever we're doing to capture this. It's making it only in 480p, so it looks kind of shoddy. But, uh, you know, even, even that notwithstanding, you could tell this game doesn't look modern. Yeah. It, it's not as good looking as... It's, it's rather old. Though this, I have to say, the soil in these bricks look pretty, pretty good. I mean, every time you look back at old games, it's always like a, like a head fuck to think of stuff that was cutting edge at the time. And you look at like, the, the funniest to me is the very end of the PS2 and Xbox era, because at that time was when like the like super realistic shit started to become popular, right? Where you had like Halo 2 and uh, God of War, the first God of War, and God of War 2 even, were like unbelievable when they came out. Like, it looked right. like fucking real life to me. And uh, like Jade Empire and shit, like all these games that were, that were trying to have a more realistic look. And you look back at them now, and they look like fucking garbage. They look like blocks, they look like polygons. They don't look realistic. They're you know? pretty bad looking. And uh, one that surprised me, just how bad it looks, Heavy Rain. That game has aged Wait, abysmally. Heavy, heavy Rain for the PS3? Yes. Really? I remember it being like really good looking. Yeah, look at it now. It has aged abysmally. I don't think I want to look at anything about that game ever again. <laughs> it is pretty bad. I've got but, kids uh, in school yelling Jason all the time. <laughs> Jason! 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 There, um, there's this dude called Hyperbit Hero, who's a video game like reviewer slash analyst guy, and he has a series called Lost in Concept, where he talks about like uh, different games or parts of games that were lost in the creation of the game, and he was talking about all the stuff that was like cut from from uh, Heavy Rain, and he's got all this footage from the game, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh god, it looks so bad, like, it's just so like, you know what the Uncanny Valley is, right? No, I have no idea. Alright, the Uncanny Valley effect, I think it was coined by Roger Ebert, or at least it was popularized by him, is the idea that um, the more realistic something tries to look, the more obvious all the things that aren't right about it look. So like when you see like, like a digital picture of someone that's trying to look super realistic, but it doesn't, then everything wrong with it is just way more creepy and jarring, right? And that's... 
exactly how I would describe Heavy Rain. It looks creepy because it's trying to be real, but it doesn't look real. And like all the mouth movements are off and the facial expressions are off and the way people move is off. It just looks oh. gross. And uh, I'm sure I felt that way at least somewhat at the time, but it was mind blowing back then. It was like the most realistic looking game. And if you compare that against like The Last of Us, it's not even in the same ballpark. Like the newer games or The Order 1886 is probably like the best, best looking game for like facial animation now, you know? Really? I, have, I don't Wouldn't know what that game say? is. Like, you don't know about it? No, I have not. It's a piece of, of shit, but it looks amazing. Um, I mean, admittedly, also really good games that are looking games is like World of Tanks. That game has gotten like really good looking over uh, its course. Does it have like any humans in it though? I th there's like pictures of humans. Because <laughs> it's like a lot easier, it seems like, to do realistic machine stuff because it's it's blocky. It's supposed to be blocky. You don't have to worry about like the the uh, the intimacies of animating a face, which is, you know, like some next level shit. And right. that's the shit that you notice when it looks wrong, you know? Especially since we have a face. Right. I look at myself in the mirror a lot and make faces. Like, <laughs> it's sort of like what makes the From Software cutscenes look so good. Like, all the Armored Core cutscenes and... If you, if you ever want to have your fucking shit blown out of your eyeballs, then go that watch. Sounds like fun. <laughs> go watch the opening cutscene of any game by From Software, because it will always be the benchmark of what CG can do at that time. Like, uh, and, and it's funny now because again, if you go back, each one is less impressive over time. Where like, Armored Core 3's opening cutscene fucking destroyed my shit when I first saw it, and now I look at it and it's just like, eh, it's it's like it looks like CG from ten years ago because it's a ten year old <laughs> game, but like. Then they'll put out the trailer for Armored Core 6, and you'll be like, fuck my balls, this is insane! Wait, the they opening, did that? Huh? I didn't know they had announced no, Armored no, Core 6. No, 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 I, oh, I just mean well, that, like, when it happens. Um, Armored Core 5 is pretty 5 good looking, 5 is still though. pretty good looking. Dark Souls looks unbelievable, and I'm sure Bloodborne is gonna fuck my shit when Wait, I fucking did, see it. Wait, did you not see it when we played it, the alpha of it? Oh, did they play the opening cutscene? Um, no, they didn't, but they have... I think they had a cinematic. Did it blow your mind to shit? I mean, they had the trailer, which was also freaking amazing. Whoa, what is that cup you've got there? Oh, you haven't seen this? My Log Horizon cup. It's amazing. What, why is his face so goofy? That's, uh, that's, it's actually, this cup is actually in the show. Like, they draw his face on his teacup. Oh. And the phrase says, uh, Asonde, os, Asonde dun ja nai ya, nai yai. Don't play around, I believe is what it means. Or no time for play. Something like that. You're in a game though, that's a pun. How dare right. they? It's, it's funny. And it's totally worth it. I paid uh, like $30 between the shipping and the actual price of the cup, but uh, I've been using it constantly, so. It looks I like the it. kind of cup that I would use a lot. It's like, it's got no rigid thing to hurt your mouth when you drink it, and it's a nice size. Yeah, um, it's great. I've never been a... Uh, a huge cup person. I've been drinking green tea from the bottle ever since I started drinking green tea because I used to drink cans of Mountain Dew. And uh, once I got this cup, I realized that green tea just tastes better and is easier to drink when you drink it from a cup. And I don't spill it on myself like I have a tendency to do when I drink from bottles. So, uh, you are a yeah, mess. I am a mess. <laughs> So how are you enjoying Little Big Planet so far? It still looks like a total clusterfuck to me. Um, I'm getting a lot of memories of these levels are and you? a lot of these songs. So you're you're pretty uh, nostalgic for this game, yeah? Yeah, I used to play a heck of a load of it. And but load. like, to 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 give perspective to our audience, because for a lot of our audience, the phrase nostalgic and PlayStation Three probably shouldn't go together, right? But here's the part where we gotta blow everyone's fucking minds who's my age. Oh! You turn 18 this year, right? Yeah. Which means you're 17 right now. Which means you were 10 when this game came out. I was? <laughs> yes, you were 10 when you first started playing Little Big Planet. Well, I thought I was a bit older. No. I, I actually thought you would have been younger, but you were 10. So. What was I playing when I was 10 that would compare to this? When I was 10, it was the year 2000 and the GameCube was not out yet. Dang so <laughs> I would have been playing Super Smash Bros. 1 
and the, like Ocarina of Time and shit like that. Stuff that people my age are usually nostalgic for. And you're nostalgic for Little Big Planet, which to us is like a modern game, you know? Yeah. So I mean, I'm also nostalgic, of course, for PSO and right, well, uh, Sonic Adventure. Yeah, those are GameCube era. Yeah, I and mean Kirby Crystal Shards. I used to play that sometimes. I just wasn't smart enough to. Do would you say in that it. this is the newest game that you feel nostalgia for? Uh, crap. Uh, maybe Demon Souls. Is that nostalgia though? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> How long? It's been like. Well, I guess it's been like six years since fucking Demon Souls came out. Oh crap! That's also crazy. Demon Souls, aged poor leaf out the gate like the second dark souls was out demon souls had aged very badly <laughs> right it's so freaking bad it was looking. never a it was never like a beautiful game i mean yeah. the art design was fantastic you see this is why i wanted to do two player <laughs> oh yeah yeah the game has a lot of those well i can i would not be talking this much if we were playing two player this i guarantee truth. it i cannot talk and play games so Kiki. the the appeal oh. of little big planet that sucked was that you could make your own levels that was the whole, like, selling point of the game, right? Yeah. And, like, again, what made it so mind-blowing to us at the time was that, like, the technology they were advertising when this game came out, this was, like, like right at the start of the PS3, and they advertised this game a lot because it showed off the power of the PS3, that it could do all these, like, physics puzzles and have this, like, interesting, unique art style that really wasn't seen before, you know? Like... No other game uses physics quite the same way as this. Like, look at the arms and legs on that uh, that that Eggman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where he's like kind of like floating around. Right. Like he's just kind of dangling there. He's not like a solid object or anything. You can also and, do this. And a lot of the game is that way. Where like basically anything that's in the platforming segment of the game, you could potentially make yourself. You couldn't make a level this big because there's a limit to how big you can make the levels, but. Um, a lot of the levels that people made were better than the actual game. Oh, there was levels. freaking like really good levels. Like that, this there was this one guy who would make levels that were so in depth and had like their own story and stuff. And Donson would play them. They would take like hours to complete, just because he had it like looping around so much, and he had so much attention to detail. All right, people make like Metroidvania games and shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So they advertised the shit out of that. And How long is an episode of this supposed to be? Like, 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> um, anyways, and, and we were recording before we started uh, before we started talking. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, the level editor was, like, the main selling point of this game, and they advertised it, and it looked so, like, crazy and unheard of at the time. But then you would actually play the level editor, and it was just, like, weirdly unintuitive and hard to use. Like, the way that, it, that you have to build shit was just... It was a headache. Well... You spent a lot of time with it. Yeah, I spent a good amount of time, and I think really another thing, they don't give you... You have to earn all the, uh, like, materials and stuff that you use. Right. So you have to go through the trouble of, like, unlocking everything before you can actually, like, if really you want to use everything. Right. And, and the, the platformer game is not that great. It's, like, an okay platformer game. I mean, I like it. It's... He's kind of floaty, but... Right, like, the biggest problems with this game is that, like, it's cool that you can build whatever kind of level you want, but the controls don't feel very tight. They're very floaty, and he kind of slides off ledges and shit, and, you know, like, you can't really do precision jumps or anything like that. The grabbing mechanics are kind of awkward. Just, like, like, like what, I, what I would value out of a 2D platformer is usually tight controls. Like, that's kind of the most important thing. And Little Big Planet has weird, loose controls so like even though you can build whatever kind of level you want you're always going to build a level with these controls and you know and have to play the game with these controls to get there so it's not as ideal as just making your own actual game <laughs> and like well, learning how to program uh little big planet 2 considering they added like this crazy mechanic with like the most basic level programming actually right and that crap was insane, and I was trying to learn that, but it was, like, really hard, and I didn't right. really That's feel like doing that. That's where you get, like, the, the guy who made the calculator. Yeah. That was, like, fucking ridiculous. It's a, it's a lot like Minecraft, 
before Minecraft was a thing, but like, Minecraft was so much more open to like freely express anything. Whereas like the problem with this game was that you were always limited by the controls and the fact that it's 2D. You're always limited by the fact that it's really complicated to figure out how to do anything interesting with the, uh, the building mechanics. And there was a limit to how much you could do. Whereas like with Minecraft, it was just free, open, do whatever the fuck you want. And you could basically create fucking anything, you know, like any kind of game you could imagine you could make in Minecraft. And that's why I think Minecraft did what Little Big Planet had wanted to do. Like, this game was obviously meant to appeal to kids and to appeal to the creativity of, like, children and family and anyone could get into it. But just, it wasn't solid enough in its mechanics to, to be a hit the way it should have been. Right. You know? Because we were always like, why is this game not more popular? And then as an adult, I'm kind of like, okay, I get why this game was not more popular. And I get why Minecraft was super popular. I mean, I really wish that a lot more people played this game. I really like it. Right, but do you like it as much as Minecraft? I like it way more than Minecraft. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You've really... spent thousands of hours on Minecraft. I've spent at least, like, six to seven hundred hours on this game. You've spent thousands of hours on Minecraft, though. Yeah. I, I've got to say that every time I've played Minecraft, though, I wasn't exactly enjoying myself. It's just, <laughs> like... <laughs> but you spent to... thousands of hours on it anyway. Just, like, the, the ability to create just kind of comes out. And it's like, all right, I'm doing something that feels <laughs> <laughs> that feels like I'm not wasting my time, but I am. Great. We'll talk more about this in the next episode of Digi Bros. That's that's the cut. Digi Bros. <laughs>